Hey, it's Steve Barcello, Cryptozoology Paranormal Museum. I'm still down in uh, South Carolina, south of the border. Uh, this is just a little video talking about uh, some more Ryobi stuff. Uh, you remember I did a piece a while back on the Bluetooth radios. Uh, I think it was George or Frank. I don't know if someone's asked me about call blasting, if there's a way we could do it. And I was going like, gee, I got these stupid Bluetooth radios. I got cheap. And, uh, we messed around with them, and they work good. I mean, they take a battery in the bottom, it's small, it's compact. You actually slide your phone in the back, and these have a USB charger on them too, which is nice. And these work well. They're not super loud. This has AM, FM, and Bluetooth set in it. And I got these really cheap, you know, tool only. I think they were 10 bucks of discount tools. I haven't seen them that cheap since. The deals haven't been quite that great. But you can still pick them up for, uh, I'm sure, once in blue moon, like around 30 bucks. Well, if I there, they have a new Bluetooth. Look at the size difference. Can you imagine this because it has two three inches, this thing puts out bass. This thing is supposed to be almost 10 times the volume of this guy here. So the original one is the, let me put my glasses on. I can't play it because the phone I'm filming is literally what I have to play it on. So the little guy is the P742 ID or 1, 1D, whatever. And uh, I think these are still available. And they're nice little radios. I mean, if they're not loud, especially like for a hotel room like here, you can put some light music, perfect. You want a boom box, this is the thing to get. It's got a rubber handle, so it'll sit this way, or you can sit it down this way. Uh, I don't know if you can pair them, but it comes with a USB charger too. Now this, with the battery, is considerably larger, so can you still put it in the backpack? Yeah. But it's going to be a lot larger and a lot more weight to carry than one of these. And this would have a battery on the bottom. I should have brought another battery in. And this one is the PD, no, PAD01. Uh, this is a little bit more money. Now, like I said, the deals aren't there. And these are new. So it's not like I'm buying old stock. Uh, this I paid, it was $169. And then it was 15% off. So whatever the heck that works out to, 50 some dollars plus tax. And uh, dual three inch speakers, uh, it's really good, rich sound. I wish I could had a way of playing it for you. Not that you'd be able to tell off a phone anyway, but this is another option. Uh, they have even smaller ones, smaller than this, that literally sit right on top of a battery, a battery topper. I can't imagine that's gonna work any very well for call blasting. If you want some music in your tent when you're out there camping, I think that'd be fine. But uh, you know, the answer here, we're, we're trying to save money instead of spending two to three hundred dollars on a call blaster. Now these, this thing probably gonna blow any call blaster out there. A lot of the call blasters have the funnel type speakers on them, so they're not made for quality sound, just volume. These sound good. These have bass. I mean, it's, I'm very impressed. I mean, if you could pair two of these up, you could literally use them at a, a party or something for a little PA system. I mean, that's how loud and how clear they are. We were blaring them in the uh, store the other day had one of them going. I mean, it was to the point where we couldn't talk. It was out loud and going, what? Talking to each other. This thing puts out some amazing volume and the quality is good. It doesn't break up when it gets loud. This thing, when you start pushing the volume, it breaks up, but when you're doing call blasting, is that super critical? No, but all around, this would still be just a very amazing thing. So I can't wait to go try this out in the woods. It's one of the things I'll be trying on the way back. You can see it's kind of got the new design to go in with the black and the bright orange instead of the grayish colors that they were using before. This has the gray, but this is pretty much black too. You've seen things change in the tools. But anyway, just I uh, wanted to do an update on Ryobi. They have these in stock now, and uh, the 15% that I got this two days ago uh, is, is not on, but they always have 15. I'm sure it's even 20% now. I mean, they go back and forth. They're probably going to save a couple more dollars. But just as long as they have them in stock or they have a discount. Now, I've seen this, a combination at Home Depot, and a hybrid small fan. If you guys remember the fan I showed you, the one I had actually misted water, too. Uh, it would just be the fan. Now, the one I got with the misty water is not hybrid. It's purely battery, which kind of makes sense. The fact you're going to have it sitting over a... Uh, Power off. There you go. I got some volume out of it. But I think it talks, tells you if it's on, tells you the Bluetooth is connected. Uh, but the, uh, 
I think it was 129 for one of these. Now it's tool only, once again, no batteries, no chargers. So you have to have the battery stuff. If you don't have Ryobi, it's a small investment, especially discount tools. You can buy a battery for, I think the cheapest batteries they got there, the 1.5 uh, hours, I think, are going for uh, the refurbs and stuff, $19. Sometimes you can get it cheaper than that. And you just pick up a cheap charger for like 12 bucks. And then you're, you're into it. Then you have to start collecting some batteries and some other things. I have a slew of chargers, 12 volt chargers. Uh, so I must have 12 batteries at this point, all different sizes. This is a, I don't know what the heck this one is. Probably a three amp hour. No, it's four amp hour. I like about these to get the ones that have the indicator there. So it will tell you where the battery's at. They don't cost that much more. These are the high performance ones too with little thing here, which this obviously doesn't need, but I try to buy the better batteries and they get those cheap all the time. Anyway, just another Ryobi tool. I thought you guys would get a kick out of, uh, but that, that deal at Home Depot. Now, discount tools had much better deals a while back. You, I would go in there, you had to just hit and miss, and but you get like $10 items. I've got uh, uh, electric caulking guns for 10 bucks each. I got a, uh, uh, shark pipe clamp crimper for 30 and that's normally at their price normally 99 I mean, you just got to get crazy deals now their price here on this is 69.99 and you can see it's brand new in the box these are not blemishes or anything just overstock whatever uh, something else i should have brought in too but uh i'll talk about it anyway but these i think they're about ten dollars more at Home Depot, and I'm sure Depot has sales. So right now, you're still getting slightly better deals at discount tools in, on the most stuff. You don't have to, might not have the selection you have at uh, Home Depot. And, well, I, I shouldn't say that. Sometimes you might actually have a better selection at the place, but you don't get the phenomenal deals. And I'm trying to convince them, it's not the guys in the store, this is corporate, to go back to have those things that hook you in and bring you in where you're gonna find those. 10, 15, 20 dollar special deals, you know, lights and stuff, especially generic stuff that everyone's gonna buy. Now, this is not something everyone wants. Most people are gonna want music. Not everyone's into Bluetooth, but this works for our realm, for the big footers, the campers, that sort of thing. People on the road and contractors. This is a nice sounding unit. Now, it'd be nice if this, once again, had dual power, if you could plug 110 into it. Another thing, I'm just happy they're still doing the USB jacks because this can't cost that much more to do. Now, I'm not sure what the amperage on this one is. I don't know if it says on the box, because most of these, they don't put out a lot. So like for an iPhone, it's not the most ideal thing. Let's see if it says on here. Probably doesn't. But anyway, another thing that I've noticed down there now, you're gonna see coming out real cheap, says USB charging, uh, 125 foot range of Bluetooth, and uh, over 10 hour operation runtime. It totally depends on what battery you have. I have no idea what battery they're basing that on. They don't tell you. But got some more specs in the bottom. Little speaker. See, this is good. This is a, a 2.1 amp USB charger. So that's a good charge. This will charge my iPhone. But the other guys are kind of small. Sometimes my iPhone goes, eh, I can't be bothered, you know. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be a nice little thing. A little pricier, than, but still a lot cheaper than the Call Blast, and the quality is really good. If you're into good, clean tunes, I tend to throw headphones on, Bluetooth headphones. But this sounds good. I can blast this. I can really piss off all my neighbors here when I'm not going to do that. Uh, they have all now these atomizer sprayers uh, because of COVID. Uh, you can put all these things in. They have, I think, about five different styles. I bought one a while back that kind of buzzes it's a tank for the uh, town of Littleton. And uh, we've used it. And that one worked pretty good. It kind of spits and sputters. And I don't remember what we paid for it. And we bought it at Home Depot. Uh, I think it was 200 and something. That came, it was a kit with a battery charger. And then I bought a gallon of some kind of disinfectant. And one of our employees got sick. And they were in town hall. So that weekend I went and I disinfected town hall. Not that he was around, but you know, just to play it safe, cover everything down. And, uh, but it was a, it's a quick way to do things. Well, now they have a bunch, they have some fancy ones that actually you know, make this stuff actually attract, electrostatic, and they have some other smaller ones. Well, some are down there as cheap as uh, 50 bucks now. I mean, and I was telling them, I was in there, they have some of the ones that were normally 400, 399, are already selling for like 179, and you're gonna see those things going to like 70 bucks. 
I mean, they're just, the market's not going to be there. They're going to have warehouses full of this stuff. So that's another thing. If you have a use for it, to pick up. Now, the fact that they're made to spray disinfectant is nice because they have all stainless steel nozzles and parts because that stuff can be kind of corrosive. So because it's built for that sort of stuff, you got to find other uses for it, probably like maybe like pesticide. But remember, once you use pesticide in any of these things, that's it. It's a pesticide spray. But uh, you make sure you read the instructions, make sure you can use it in that particular one. The one I got for it's just going to be a mister. It's going to be a quick disinfectant. It's tiny, has a small tank on it. It's something I can literally carry with me. Uh, the way things are going now, I mean, it uh, can't hurt to have. Even just to spray down the car periodically. But uh, that was it. Just wanted to bring up the speed. I haven't done any Ryobi stuff in a while. Well, I shouldn't say I did the fan. Uh, another funny note on that, I was on the trip uh, last week. I was up in the mountains. I was staying at the Koala Cabins. I, was, I had a cabin on the river there. And uh, I had the, uh, I picked up a bucket because the fan sits over a bucket. And this way it has a tube that actually draws water up. So you have a fan that's two speeds. It's a toggle, which I didn't realize at the time. And the spray is a toggle two speeds. So you have high, low, and off. Well, I'm thinking it's on and off. I put this thing in the bucket. I turned the fan on and I had it on high. I turned the water on and so I, I didn't realize at the time I had it apparently it was on a lower setting, but the water's spraying. So I'm going, oh, let me turn that off. Cause I'm inside, I'm just seeing how the thing works. So I go from low to high and it's blasting. So like, I'm trying to figure out how to shut this thing off. Like, you know, why isn't it shutting off? Not realizing it's a three-way toggle. And uh, about ready to pull the battery out, which is actually encased in this cover. And at that point I go, oh my God, I feel like I'm wet. I totally sprayed the front of my pants and shirt. I was like, I wet myself. So uh, did figure out how to shut it off now. So you, know, you learn from my mistakes, but it works great. The fan puts out a lot of power. I've only demonstrated, I haven't really used it. And, uh, um, you know, I'm not one that want to be outside spraying myself with water. I'm not into the wet t-shirt contest, but I guess it would work for that. But I'm sure if you're out there, you're like, you know, a real hot day and you just want to have a light mist blowing over the air, it probably work great. Uh, and you, it does have a hose assembly too, so. But that was another one I demonstrated. Just sometimes I figure things out after the fact, but I've become a Ryobi nut. I've got a lot of that stuff and I'll keep on doing that and keep on promoting what I think is uh, practical for the world that we're in. Uh, well, that's it. Just uh, I want to thank everybody. I'm going to do another investigation tonight. Just another little video. I'm trying to get things done. It's convenient while I'm out here. Uh, we want to do some uh, videos and uh, rating some thermal scopes. And uh, I'll go into that once we get them. And I've been talking with the company about getting them some demos out so we can uh, compare one to another. And uh, as soon as we get that stuff, uh, I'll let you know. And that'll be a nice one. We'll go out in the field and actually shoot and demonstrate and put all that together. Won't be as basic as this. But uh, thanks for watching. We appreciate you guys supporting the uh, museum, uh, our, our, my YouTube channel, and uh, things will keep moving forward. And little by little, uh, we'll get out of this COVID disaster. All right, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.